very complex story. I will just uh, present one locality from the inner diorites. And uh, actually, this locality, which we call Velika Chalice section, um, is in central Serbia. It's if you go from the Belgrade to the south, approximately 120 kilometers. And what we found it there, we found it uh, in the opiolitic melange of basal block with approximately 23 meter thick sedimentary. Uh, cover frequency mainly consists of radiolarites and clay stones. Uh, okay, how it looks on the field, directly on the top of the basalts, uh, predominantly we have siliceous clay stones, and if we go up section follow, uh, more and more start radiolarite succession, and first part, uh, that lower part of the radiolarite bed uh, beds are approximately 3 to 5 cm thickness and the uh, follow up section more it's um, still radiolarite beds and we have approximately thick thickness between 1 and 3 cm but in the uh, uppermost part of the section uh, we saw more placed on intercalations. Uh, okay, of course we sampled radiolarians and uh, what to say, like usually it's in a dinerates, we have preservation which depend in different parts of section, but it's poor to moderate. And uh, the first positive samples, actually we have three positive samples. The first positive samples VP3, we sampled approximately 4.5 meter above basalts. And uh, you can see how it looks association. The most important species are Villeria delum crystallinum, Cingulaturis carpatica, Hemicryptocapsa marcucci. And uh, what is also very important for this uh, lower part of uh, the section, that this lower part uh, characterized by quartz field hydrothermal veins, uh, which are missing uh, in the upper part. Okay, uh, if you go more higher in the section, approximately one meter higher up, uh, we have next positive sample. This is sample VP5. Uh, uh, also, the uh, lot of species is not so good preserved, but <coughs> the most important species is Gondylothorax fabosus. You can see that we have also LCTDL, probably Pictum, also Transum, Maxwelli, and Breve Costatum. Uh, the upper part of the section is bioturbated, very deformed, and uh, it, we, we saw increasing uh, in clay content. content. And uh, approximately about the last sample VP5, we sampled this um, sample VP6. It's approximately 40 centimeter above. It means this is the highest part of the section. And here also you can see um, that we have together Previlleria delum robustum and Villeria delum crystallinum. It's very um, uh, typical that in all three samples we have a lot of specimens of crystallinum. Okay, if you look all three samples together, uh, we can say that in total the age of the radular rites is Colombian to early Oxfordian. And also we can say that this indicates a very rapid deposition of this radular right succession. Uh, this Colombian, why I exactly talk about this, uh, our new page data? Because this Colombian to early Oxfordian radular rites is first evidence in inner dinerids that we really found directly on the field in contact Jurassic radiolarites and uh, uh, basalts. It means that it's the first direct proof of Jurassic opiolites in the inner dinerids. Before these findings, usually we found it um, middle to late Triassic radiolarites together with basalts. Okay, only uh, uh, in a few localities uh, were radiolarites found in stratigraphic contact with basalts. And mainly um, we have data from the Greece, 
from the southern Greece, it's the Litsophilite unit, from the, um, also we have from Greece, from Burinos Ophiolite, sedimentary cover at the top of that. Uh, and uh, I forgot to say that if you look faster also, you can see that uh, Chiari, Michael Chiari and his group found uh, new uh, uh, findings of uh, Middle Jurassic radiolarites uh, uh, with the ophiolites, it's uh, approximately Batonian in age, it means uh, a little bit older than Bellicipchalitza section. Uh, also, uh, we have Middle Jurassic findings in the Republic of Macedonia, but it's really near the, the boundary with Greece, uh, that uh, this we call Jevgeli ophiolite complex. If we go more to the east in Albania, it's famous Mirdita ophiolite, and if you uh, several um, articles published about uh, the, the, the Middle Jurassic uh, radiolari radiolarian sage which found in the Mirdita ophiolite. Uh, for this moment, the only late Jurassic early Oxfordian findings uh, uh, known from northern Greece, also from Jajili ophiolite, which published in the Merian at all 1996. Okay, why? I want to present our new age data because I should repeat maybe a sentence which you heard several times, but really in, uh, we still haven't uh, consensus, consensus about the overall geodynamic evolution in the Dinaridic realms for the Mesozoic. And still we have numerous issues regarding number and location of ocean basin, timing and closure of this oceans, like uh, also geodynamic setting in which ophiolite were formed, as well as the time and direction of the ophiolite replacement, and it's really still several opinion. And uh, usually this, in the, in, in the diaries for us, is far transported near TTC ophiolites, usually uh, scientists uh, attribute to the East Marder of your lights or the, the, the other name for that East Marder of your lights or Central Marder subzone, which are, uh, have completely different geodynamic history and paleogeographic position. It also depends which geodynamic reconstruction you will follow. If you follow Stefan Schmidt at all, uh, in his group, they said that that East Marder ocean is short-living Jurassic, it means middle to late Jurassic Beckhardt Basin. If you follow Hans-Jürgen Havik, he said it's not exist. Uh, in this area, okay, somewhere on the southern, southern in Greece um, uh, and Turkey, maybe it's still something the coiling findings of bentonite exist, but in this area, probably at the end of Jurassic, everything, we have more ocean ridge. Okay, um, and what is also interesting that a lot of these central east border of your lights are overlined by coarse grain flesheet sequences. Um, we call that in Serbia paraplish, it's really from Serbian literature. It's uh, uh, the name which Dimitrievich and Dimitrievich introduced during the last uh, century, and actually, we haven't enough data from this, but uh, what also. Uh, we can uh, say that, uh, okay, again, the same story, we have different interpretations, but uh, for me, it's this latest Jurassic early Cretaceous Lishit sequences is really something similar to Branduk Lish, uh, uh, for example, in Bosnia, Branduk Lish. Uh, okay, and what I want to say at the end, if you look our geological map, of this area, Kragovic area, you can see that this ophiolitic melange, which in blue line, is sealed by this early Cretaceous uh, paraflish, which led, uh, and this is marked by red line, and uh, all this data can maybe 
a lot to follow in the geodynamic produce structures of reconstruction. We will to lay the Jurassic coffee life abduction on the wider Adria plate was followed by the Titoni and Beriasian mountain uplift and probably after that unroofing. And during this process, the ophiolytic melange in the Kragovac area was transported to the east of the metamorphic dome and sealed it in its position by the early Cretaceous paraflish. Okay, that's it.